Anyway, let's hope we're all right with this one. It is Dredge, another all caps letter titled game right after Infra. This is the latest long play. It was democratically and oligarchically elected as the next long play. I don't know much about this game. I've never seen it played. I've never played it myself, but the expansion for it just came out, the Pale Reach. I decided I would grab that and the base game and give it a go right here. Uh, hang on, why don't we refresh our memory on what the synopsis for this game was. Whenever there are long play suggestions, people can submit them to me. I've got a spreadsheet, there's links right below the stream for it. And Dredge was submitted by Amsher. They called it a fishing, exploring, adventure, Lovecraftian game genre. They say it's a cosmic horror fueled fishing game. It'd be fun to see Jake's opinion on this. Starts as a simple fishing game, evolves into something more sinister. It's good, because I, I do like some good spooky games, and whilst we had some amazing spooks with the Mortuary Assistant, uh, I don't think this will quite be on that level. What do I know? Let's get into it, shall we? Yes, I have a Chronomus. You can, you can take it for granted that I will have read the FFF the moment that it's out. That's right, I read it in my dreams. It wasn't very interesting to me, though. It's like, here are these, here are these slinky arm things we designed. Feels like it's straying a bit far away from what Factorio is, but I'll withhold critical judgment until I've actually played the expansion. The sinister part is when you step out of your boat and start exploring crumbling Finland. No. Oh god, no. Maybe that's what all my nightmares are foreseeing. A future where every game is just a prequel to Infra. Alright, so as best I understand, we have been shipwrecked on this small, somewhat idyllic looking fishing village. Can be nothing ideal about this, the whole place probably stinks. Plus look at all those boarded up windows. Mmm, environmental storytelling. So we collapsed here and we have the fat controller from Thomas the Tank Engine looking down on us. We're at Greater Marrow. We have been rudely introduced to the Jagged Rocket Bay. And somehow we didn't see the lighthouse. Our boat's absolutely smegged, but they're giving us a crummy wee boat to go out and get fishing, but he nebulously tells us to get back before sundown. The fog will roll in. Oh, okay. So we don't have a wee character running around here, we just kind of possess the ship and go fishing? I can get behind that. So one thing that immediately looks rather nice is that time does not progress unless we're actively doing something. See the time at the start there? It's half past six. You know, that time that I thought I was waking up this morning. Uh, but if we just stop and don't move... 7.01. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, better get fishing. So we'll go down here, tap F to fish, and it's a timing mini game to go and grab things again. Time not moving when we do our Resident Evil 4 inventory puzzling here. So let's shove in those blue mackerels and grab as many as God sees fit to give us. As we all know, fish are completely renewable and we should overfish as much as possible. Probably not going to have any cod wars around here. God, there are quite a few fish here, but I think that stock is going... Yeah, there we go. Completely depleted on the stock. But that just means we move over and we uh, get in the way of what Iceland think is theirs. What do we have here? Safe passage. How did we miss this? How bad a fisherman are we? I have not been sailing since I was a child. You don't have the right equipment for this shallow spot. Okay, well... I assume that we sell our catch. I don't know if there's any kind of selling minigame. And use that to upgrade our boat. Or maybe there are other ways to do upgrades. Maybe we go out, perhaps into this pale reach that I've just bought in a DLC to find ourselves new fishing things. Right, well the timing minigame seems pretty trivial so far, but I am well trained by playing Scarface, The World Is You. Uh, the World Is Yours. That had a uh, a drug selling mini game, which is all about timing. Oh, what is this though? Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't have the equipment for it. 
the glowing mushroom. <laughs> can we can we not talk about infra anymore? <laughs> Alright, I've been hurt a lot by that game. It's quite nice, even even when doing the little into my inventory minigame, the timer does not progress. That's nice. Keeping the pressure off. Even though I was just talking about how I like the pressure in Factorio, I play different games for different things. Not every game has to break my balls with difficulty. I certainly like it when games do, but some games I actually play for that not to happen. Sometimes I play games that are... Ooh. Hey, there we go. What do we have about these fish? It appears to be some kind of golden-sized fish, but it's still practically worthless. Enough to stave off hunger. Well, that was easy. I should expect it to be easy. This is Tutorialville. Uh, which side do I want to go to? Well, I came from this side, the side that has the lighthouse. Let's go for it. After playing Avorion, I want to press space to hyper speed. Select your lights by holding E, toggle that, and click. There we go. I saw five minutes of infra and decided I'd come back to this channel later. Well, at least you made one good decision, Hog McMassive. Step onto the dock, the mayor is waiting. Yes, we've returned in one piece. Our old boat was too, da uh, too badly damaged. Oh, he's going to sell us the replacement. Yeah, he certainly looks like he didn't get where he is in life by giving things away. Uh, we don't have the necessary funds on hand, but we'll consider it a loan. What's the interest? A tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it. Okay, there we go. Ah, town improvement. Is there going to be a town improvement minigame? Is this actually Dark Cloud in Disguise? Oh, now there's a game. When's that going to be on the long playlist? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. But where do I sell them? Fishmonger will appraise. He's open all hours. God, that would got to be a grim, bloody job. All hours. So what's going on here? I have a storage locker for my fish. Am I meant to bring them over one by one? There's no way. No way that's how it works. No, not a chance. Not a chance. But then why would I keep them here? Cabin pursuits. This is reminding me what we've just been told here. Go and sell what we have for fishmonger. Okay. I'm going to store one thing in the storage locker and see how these uh, work with a fishmonger. Oh, he wants 50 quid off me. Also, why is it dollars? Let's make it, uh, let's make it Hungarian foreign. I'll tell, I'll buy this ship off of you for 50 Hungarian foreign. That's, uh, that's about 10 pence in real world money. Right, flies buzz around. Downcast looking shabby man with ginormous hands. I like the art style in this immediately. I mean, it's it's nuanced, but it's not flat. I really like that. Surprised I found a new one. Right, what's your name? No sense getting familiar. Okay. Let's see why he's still downcast. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher is more money. Some specimens are just worth more. You've got debt. Get to work. Let's see what you got. Okay, so he does look at all of this. I don't need to bother with my... Oh, but the storage is there as well. Amazing. Well, let's... Let's look at the values here. This gold-plated fish is hardly worth more than the others. In fact, it's worth a lot less than a cod. Have I eaten a blue mackerel? Yeah, I think one of these days I'm going to go out with a mission to eat every fish on Earth. Not every single one, but every type of fish. Anyway, take it all. I clearly don't need it. And you gonna you going to take this as well? I can tell you what's in storage as well. well. That made me a healthy amount of money. It looks like we're losing, what was that, 15% of it to the debt? Alright, very nice. And the mayor's just standing there waiting. How do you get that well dressed on a pokey wee island like this? Jake produces so many hours of good VODs, I can't watch them all, still churning through Death World 100%. I, I think it's mad that people actually try and watch a lot of what I put out. I mean, I, I just, I pretty much constantly stream. Almost every waking hour of my life is uh, is put to streaming. And I should actually run some numbers on that, because it might be, it might be concerning at some point. Then again, the every waking hour part of that sentence is doing some heavy lifting. 
Hmm. Right, so the mayor seems somewhat happy about it. Ah, look at his chummy wee smile there. He's got us a research pot. What's all this about? You must take these items. Well, maybe I... Oh, okay. A local shipwright might not be able to make some modifications. Pay her a visit. Ah. Right-o. What's your game? Uh. Don't mean to be rude, but I think I saw you in a uh, punishment game I played recently. Right, I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Payment up front, and it takes time. Of course, payment's up front. Right, take damage, rocks damage, patch it up. Okay, so she's alluding to there being other things that could damage our ship other than the rocks. Mm, it's a shame the Lovecraftian part of this was spoilt already. It'd be cool going into this having no idea that there's any horror. But to be fair, even the game's uh, option settings alluded to there being scary things out there. Right, wooden boards, well above the waterline, splintered, scratched. So, 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 what do we have here? Weighted lines and simple skinner. Okay, so this is all going to take up space in my cargo. Meaning that I won't be able to grab as many fish. That's a shame. Operational 40% extra fishing speed. I wonder if I can drop stuff off and then go out for another catch. Because that would be badass. Lightweight rod, catching fish. Yeah, sure. Give it a go. Do we ever sleep? It's already 9 o'clock. What about repair mode? Fixes damage. Uh, ah, here are our damage slots. Okay, okay, I think I get it. Oh yeah, Banner Saga was great fun. I actually replayed Banner Saga in my own time. Blitzed through the game rather quickly. Still great fun. I mean, it was best played on a... Uh, it was best played fresh. Uh, one of the things I don't like about the game is the events. There are good choices and bad choices, and it's just a case of knowing. So with the research thing that we got, we can, say, do a hydraulic rod. There we go. We're getting very fast into upgrading stuff. I was having fun going out there just fishing for a wee while. Mayor, what do you have to tell me? Uh, can we pay off the debt? Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Money invested in making more money is generally better. The thing is, debt is good. No one wants to admit it, but debt is very good. What's going on around here? We've got a main port, Ingfell. Can't miss it. Whaling Town, people left. Hmm. We're a popular tourist destination, I beg your pardon. Granted, I have been to somewhere with fish so good I would go there again just for the fish. It was the Western Isles, actually, in Scotland. Holy moly, it was good. Now, the fish I had in Japan was on another level, but... Uh, mm, I think the fish in Japan was elegant. Active volcanoes. Do not set sail there, right? Well, we're obviously going to set sail there now. You might know that in my... In my streams, I don't tend to read out every chunk of dialogue, and that's not just because I'm very averse to reading. Uh, I actually don't enjoy watching streams where everything is read out, and I generally stream based on what I like and don't like in other streams. It's pretty much the foundation of what I uh, what I put together on my channel. I don't know what about like I've got a functional pair of eyes. I don't need you reading everything out for me, and it's doubly bad if funny voices are done for it. Right, since I have a simple skimmer, does that do everything that the basic fishing pole does? Mm, it might be different. Let me just... Oh, crap. Taking that out and reinstalling it actually costs time, I think. Well, mistakes were made. I just wanted to move it over to my other pole. Alright. Hey, and we can sleep. Splendid. 6 a.m., good time for going out, so let's just go and get some more fish done with the new part that we got. I really like the art style in this game. Again, it's rather nuanced, but kind of reminds me of The Long Dark in a way. 
See, fidelity ages, but style... Style does not. Done and done right. Grab ourselves an eel. I don't get to see what it's worth, but surely it's worth more than the other garbage that we've had. Oh, God, that is off-putting the way it uh, jumps around. And it's already depleted. Two whole eels. Miserable catch. We're never going to feed our family. Ooh, sharks. Well, maybe sharks. I think I've eaten shark before, but I can't remember, so I should eat it again. Disturbed. Ah, uh, okay, right. So this deeper area is oceanic, and we can't do it yet. That's okay, though. We'll get our money, get our fishing poles, and go. Dredge. Ooh, name drop. If you have fish and chips regularly, you've eaten shark. I do not have fish and chips often. I, I've often find that fish and chips that are chippy is just not very good. So, tend to shy away from that. That said, though, when I was working at Paradox, occasionally there'd be a chippy van uh, outside the office, and the expats would just rush it down. I can't blame them, the stuff that passes for food in Sweden. We're running out of space, but not out of profits at this rate. We're not grabbing those crappy little things. Jake working on having a UK citizenship fooled. Ah, uh, oh, 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 here we go. We've got the Tetris square block now. This could require a bit of finagling in my inventory. Hmm. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, I, I might be in a bit of a pickle here. Do, 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 do. Ah, come on now. We're better than this. This, this isn't just Tetris, this is that puzzle from late and all over again. Well, I'm, I'm glad that the timer stops for this section. <laughs> Come on, maybe I shouldn't have moved my fishing pole over there. There we go. Tetris master at your service. Hey, can we stop over here and just have a word with these villagers? Time doesn't pass when I'm docking. Cool. Hello, dock worker. How's the day treating you? Pretty well. I like this weather. God, I love the rain. And it's been raining quite a lot around here. God, thought it would be nothing but uh, blistering sunshine in Sea of Folk. I was wrong. It's apparently going to be freezing this week. I'm excited about that. Maybe I can watch Balaton freeze and then run over it. People think I'm mad. Changeable as the weather, pretty quiet, pays not great. Work is straightforward. Yeah, I like that. When I worked in security, that was uh, pretty much the mantra. Pay is miserable, the work is straightforward, it is what you make of it. I'd better go, can I sell? No, I guess all the, all the selling is done at the lighthouse area, but what's your shindig here? Antiques, jewelry, baubles? What are they gonna be selling to? Who are they gonna be selling to around here? Antiques. I'll sp Ooh, we might be able to dredge up some trinkets and sell them to him. Okay, that's going to be the real economy of this game. I can already sense it. Can we not do any idle conversation? Oh, I was hoping for some banter. Island people like this are bound to have stories to tell. I've got a storage locker. Is it the same as the other? Right, tell you what, I'm going to leave one of the crappiest wee fish I have over here. I've got crappier fish. And I'm going to see if it's one of those magical lockers that also connects with uh, with over there. Also gives me a chance to catch a fish on the way back. If we can find one. Here we go. 
A flounder. Mm. Makes me think of Rune Factory. Oi, those cheeky fish just buggered off. Or maybe they were never there to begin with. Maybe that's the horror in this game. You think you see fish, but they're already gone. All right. Arrow squid, tiny, and now you're mine. Also, you mentioned an encyclopedia game. Encyclopedia. No, but I do have a spyglass. Alright, first impressions are fantastic. I really like this game already. And that's not just because I was looking through a spyglass, just everything's coming together. What? Did you look at that? Connected storage, we've got those Resident Evil style things. Apparently I, I don't have to pay a lot to, to get my ship. In that case, I should pay it off now and just dump everything in the fishmonger. Mayor, I'm amazed you gave me such a cheap ship here. Yeah, just, just take it all. I don't need this money. Last fisherman, very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and sleep all day. Terrible captain. Really terrible. Hmm. Did they hot fuzz him? Okay, I've already asked him about everything. Away we go. Right, fishmonger who's weirdly enough open all the time. I've had a special order come through. If you can fulfill it, we'll pay you above normal prices. Ah, now we're getting all reset here, like. Mm. Yes, what do you need? A gulf flounder and a grey eel. Mm. Don't I already have those? Now, here's the question. Do you give me a flat price, or do you multiply the value of these fish already? I'm gonna assume it's the latter and give him my best fish. There we go. 44 quid and 6. A couple of squid and a whole black group. I don't know what knights are like here. Uh, do I already have that? No, I've only got one of these arrow squid. I'll just go and grab you another one. It's okay, I'll just sell you everything that I have right now. Sell them all their fish. No one likes rancid old fish. Thanks for your efforts. We're gro- <laughs> All I've done is sell, like, two trolls of fish. When do we when do we scale up our economy here? I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand facilities or operation. I think things are things are advancing a little quickly here. Like they're scared of people losing interest. Hmm. All right, fair enough. What's happening at the dry dock? It's you again. Extra space. Extra space is what we need. Absolutely. Finding materials will allow you to upgrade my vessel. Got it. But how do I get them? There are plenty of decent materials. Shipwrecks. I'm sure you'll get them. I'm not sure shipwreck materials are going to be so good for us, but sure. Uh, they'll be stored. So what do I need to get? Slabs of wood, nuts and bolts, and some sort of fabric? Huh. Could build entire cities out of that in Frostpunk. Rod spaces. Uh, given the rods seem to do specific tasks, we're going to need a fair few of those. But I want overall cargo space. Are you going to show me what that does for me? I'm assuming that's cargo space. No, that's cargo space. Tier 2, 5 cargo spaces. Alright, well, basically we're going to have to get out there and get ourselves some goods. I don't think I want to rest. I want to go out there and do some more fishing. Fishing is good fun. 
They warned me about coming back before the night rolls in, but do I look like I'm scared of the dark? I'll tell you, after playing Mortuary Assistant, I was. Oh, jeez. Spooky, spooky stuff, that game. There we go, the arrow squid that we were told only come out at night. That, that freaking... Mm, exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Huh, how does panic work? Where are those arrowfish? Come to me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Don't worry. Some delightful fishing will take our mind off of the impending horror. What was the other thing I needed for the order? It was that and I forget. Well, that being this arrowfish. Right. What else do we have out there? Something unknown, but it's a dredge area. Oh yeah, dredge. The dredge were in Old Man Saga as well. Mm, my eye is shaking. We appear to be a little, little spooked here. Well, what's up with my light? There we go. Better be careful not to ram. I'm not looking to I'm not looking to destroy the ship here. There it is. Oh wait, that's more arrow squid. I could have sworn there was the other fish that I need around here. Oh, this is good lighting. I mean it's terrible, but that's what makes it good. Hey, ooh. Would you look at that? Shapes in the deep. Ah, but I need dredging equipment to get me these. Okay, all right, that'll be the next upgrade that we're going for then. Good thing there's that lighthouse. You gotta imagine trying to find your way otherwise. I'm having a hard time finding the fish that I needed for the order, and also remembering the fish for the order. Whoa! <laughs> Good thing I'm an excellent driver. That could have been a problem for me. Where'd it go, though? Where were those fish? Kind of hard to see them with this in the dark. Perhaps we should go and sleep for a few hours. We'll work better with a clear head. Or was this the fish that I was after? Potentially. Oh, no, it's just, uh, just you again. Well, that's okay. The more I have of you, the more I can sell. I don't have to fulfill every order. That's a trap you can fall into in Reset here, and not a trap that I will fall for here. Oh, God. Is there a way to turn that off? Oh, thank God. Chromatic aberration I find actively painful. I disable it everywhere I can. Visible apprehension. Uh, I'm here to fish. So I'm what well, you're in the game yeah. for. Not often you get a good fishing game. Fishing mini games are often added to games, and they're um, mm, they're all terrible. Yeah, I can't think of a single fishing mini game in a game that isn't terrible. Rune Factory, Dark Cloud, and all the rest. Nothing here for us. Shuffle away, if you will. Uh, the mayor wants to speak to me. Oh, God, I've always got time for the mayor. Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, it's all the same thing, right? Terrible fishing minigames for the sake of having them. A small package. Doesn't feel like anything at all. Just a mess of shapes. Hmm. Oh, you want me to deliver this? Yeah, sure, I can do that. I'll be your little rent boy while we're at it. The dock worker will pay you. Please be quick. We don't want it to spoil. Oh. Well, we've delivered worse things in infra. Mm. Oh, he keeps it on ice. Oh, that's handy. It's 
So I can just leave it there until the black grouper in shallow water. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, otherwise just take everything I got. You look exhausted. Frequent breaks, important part of being productive. Right, so I'll do some daytime fishing and then get some actual sleep tonight. <laughs> it's got eyes like that. Right. Reaction times are slowed. Rocks and things will seem to jump right out at you. Oh, that's fine. I am made of quick reaction. I do like the idea of getting some oceanic uh, stuff done, but now I regret putting my rods over here. Mm, boy, I really need some... Uh, some dredging equipment. How do I get some dredging equipment? You'd think it'd be these troll nets, but no. Hmm. You won't need oceanic for a very long time, but the but the option is there. I can go and get them. Oh, but you also cost me an arm and a leg. Well, never mind that. Ah, we should be fine with what we have. Maybe I can just take a wee rest, right? Just just have a, a wee bit of sleepy sleep. And then get back out there. I've got nothing in the store. Oh god, how long have you been there? Ew. Hey, fishmonger, how do you want for this stale old fish? You'll still pay me for it. Right, out we go, go once more. And we don't see our panicking eye thing anymore. Gotta remember, it was some kind of black groupie or something like that. Oh yeah, the still one can go in tin. Oh god. Fish for Christmas dinner. Doesn't seem right, does it? Good. I don't even have to be pressing F for the... Oh, he wanted me to deliver the small package, didn't he? That's okay, I can do that. In fact, when I'm over there, I can drop off my goodies and then grab things on the way back. Hey, yeah, it's a very simple traveling salesman. No salmon for Christmas? What kind of Christmas would that be? Um, hmm, I suppose that comes down to, uh, to my mother. She does not like fish. The smell of it, the taste of it, the sight of it. Oh, man. So it's it's never been it's never had much of a presence at the dinner table in our household. But once I broke free of the yoke of my mother's cooking, I could have whatever I wanted whenever I wanted, and I really like fish. Mm. Right, what do we have here? Shielding it from your view smells foul. <laughs> This old book, a few, few weeks back, didn't make much sense. What do we have here? Some kind of old crumpled book. Is that my encyclopedia? Sustainable fishing. That doesn't sound very sustainable to me. Uh, he just told me where I can see it, and now I can't remember what he said. Here we go. Encyclopedia. Ooh, now I love games that have almanacs and encyclopedias. Okay, that doesn't put it right. I love it when games have this. As long as they're good, right? Um, Oxygen Not Included had one, and it didn't actually have the bloody information I was looking for. I'm assuming this is average... Average uh, price? Or is that the best price? Probably average. So the eels and the flounders are looking pretty good for us. Those blue mackerels are guy pathetic, but it's the only thing I've gotten a gold medal for. Oceanic, abyssal. Nothing about the dredge here, though, is there? Uh, lots of different areas. Mm. Very cool. And this is where I can keep track of the orders that I have as well. Nice. 
Hence Jake's obsession with a Christmas dinner. We were we were never served dinner for Christmas. One thing our household always had was a good Christmas spread. Which reminds me, I, I believe for the colonials in the community, it's going to be Thanksgiving real soon. Uh, I always really enjoy seeing people's Thanksgiving spreads, so I would actually appreciate it if uh, you take a photo of it and send it my way, post it up in Discord or whatever. I'm not some freak that just likes looking at pictures of food. I, I think it gives me some nice ideas for things to cook up. Or ways of preparing them. I do enjoy cooking. I'd even say it's one of my five main hobbies in life. Alright. Oh, I didn't dump my stuff, did I? Whoopsie doodle. Oh, well. Oh, I don't want to Tetris this. I'm not even sure I can Tetris this. Alright, you win for now, fish. The fish you need is by the dock you just left. In the right of it, between the rocks. Um, okay, sure. I don't, I don't think I need my hand held in the first half hour of the game, though. Part of a cozy fishing experience like this is not tryharding. Yeah, no kidding about the rocks just jumping out at you, though. There, it looked like clear waters, and it absolutely was not. So yeah, I don't have this fish for you, but I will sell what I have. Take a chunk and get back out there. I mean, sure, we're a little tired. You know what? We can we can take a very short rest and then get back out there. At college, I made Thanksgiving dinner for forty-five people for my student org out of the duplex kitchen. Oh, very good. Cooking for lots of people with limited resources, that could be pretty good, especially when everyone has to chip in. It's one of the things I like about a good old Barbie, is having everyone chip in on it. Got a university friend of mine, we're still good friends in the meat sphere today. Uh, but I and many others will never let him live down the fact that when we were having a barbecue, and everyone brought in meat, you know, everyone could bring goods and we'd all eat it together. la -dee da but what did he bring? He brought the finger buns. Not just any old finger buns. Finger buns reduced to 10 pence because they were stale old ones from Tesco. And uh, when questioned as to whether or not he brought anything for the barbecue, he said, oh yeah, I brought the finger buns. And that quote has followed him for a long time now. So there's our black droopy. Short, stocky fish, molted black coloring, perfect for camouflage and black waters of night. Well, didn't save you from me. I am the fishy deliverance from God. Oh, hello, Stingray. It shouldn't be a surprise that you can eat Stingray, but I can't imagine they'd be that tasty. Oh boy, here we go. Tetris time number two. See that which cannot be seen. I am unsure if this is even possible. Mm. <laughs> God, it really is Resident Evil all over again. Stand back, Ganados. I need to organize my inventory. I really shouldn't have put my fishing rods there. Alright, the question is what's going to be worth more money? Because I'm not sure there's a solution to this. You know, it also reminds me of setting up farms in Caesar 3. There is a particular level Damn that t Couldn't we just chop, chop off the tail? Would that be too much to ask? I'm sure the bigger one is more expensive. Yeah, you're right. So we'll just keep the biggest of these. Let the other one go back to the... F back to the fishy... Fishy school it came from, and then we'll sell what we have. Do you need two stingrays and a grouper? No, I, it was two arrow fish and a grouper. And I already got the uh, the arrow fish. Funny how Square Grid has become central to so many games. Why is that enjoyable? 
Yeah, it's a nice little bit of puzzling, and it's also pretty good for taking your mind off the horror for a bit. And that allows the horror to hit you even harder, assuming that there is good horror in this game. Take uh, one of my favourite horror games, if not my favourite horror game ever, Ao Oni. Ao Oni was rife with puzzles that range from so-so to pretty basic. But the whole thing about them is that it removes you from the horror for a bit. You're being chased by this horrible blue demon thing and it's very scary. But then it becomes even more scary because you spend your time thinking about this puzzle and then your mind is so enraptured with the puzzle that you have to solve you forget about the spooks. So then when he comes back for you, oh boy. Oh, hell that is scary stuff. What have you got for me? Banged up, get it fixed, a crab pot. Hmm. Thank you kindly. I'm really feeling the strain on my inventory space though. Please buy these stingrays off of me for high prices. Some of my stuff is damaged? Or do you specifically mean this? Yeah, looks like it. Let's just get the ring fixed. Who would do a fix-up job for just seven quid? Last for three days. So I guess I deploy you out there. I didn't really pay attention to what the guy was telling me, but sure. Yeah. How do I how do I get these things then? Did you mention a store? No, you can store what you have. Hmm. I need to dredge up those goods somehow, some way. And I don't have research points for anything else. When you had the cabin menu, you could interact with the book that you got. Ah, the rods, reels, and rigs thing. Ah, we can read these. Pastime to read. I'm assuming that's something we do with our resting. No. Past time to read. Past time. Past time. Fishmonger wants a common crab and a fiddler crab. Well, we've got to get those crabs, but how do I pass time? Maybe, maybe it's just when we wander around. Also, select the crab pot ability and deploy one. They catch things over time, but they need repairing every so often. Can't I just leave them here? It says there's plenty of fish to be had. There you go, go and get me some fish. While we're at it though, there's fishing to be done. Not a lot of fishing, that depleted fast. Uh, is this counting as passing time for the purpose of reading? Ah, okay, okay. So we're reading whilst we're sailing. I guess that makes sense. Now I've never... Yeah, I have never been fishing in my life. Seems like something I would have done, but no, no one in my family was uh, keen on fishing, so go figure. Not much opportunity to do it, and I guess it didn't really appeal to me either. Why would I play... Why would I play fish when I could play games? I've been fishing once and I didn't catch anything. Were you hoping to catch something, Marvin? Well, I guess you were. You don't go fishing hoping to catch nothing, do you? What's your story? One of the nice things about having this... Where is it? The spyglass. It lets me see if I can grab it or not. Apparently oceanic... Uh, yeah. Someone said I don't need oceanic for a while, but I'm thinking otherwise. I think we should just go for the oceanic. Sounds like it could be good fun. Oh, that's just dredge again. Yeah. How in God's name do I get dredge? Mm, just 
grab everything over there. Is there a quick way to do that, I wonder? Or do I have to drag them over one by one? I just want them magically stored so I can sell them at the other side. And sadly, I have not found any baubles. Yeah, thank goodness for that... Uh, that lighthouse helping me spy my way back. We've got the arrow squid over there. The black groupies seem to be worth decent dosh. So if we make way towards the arrow fish and then over to the black groups. We should have some dosh in the making, unless there's more elsewhere. Just dredge. <laughs> this doesn't seem very sustainable fishing now, does it? I'm just raking the ocean clean. Where, where are they? Man, I want those sharks. That's more arrow squid. Where are the black groupy things? Oh, hey! Can I catch you? Mm, perhaps not. Maybe what this is is the prequel to... Oh Christ, what was that game that looks like it was done on one of those old calculators? Obradin. Yeah, for all we know this is pre obradin Hello. Tusked Grouper. What's your story? Pig-like tusks. Ravenous brute, no eyes to speak of. It attacks indiscriminately. Aberrations. Oh, I like the sound of that. Sounds like Apparition, the card that carried me through some Slay the Spire. Couldn't find any more of those black droopy things, and what was my what was my task here? Ooh, I caught a strange looking fish, never seen anything like it in all my years, and it died as soon as we pulled it up. But it's still pulsing with strange rhythm. <laughs> Okay, well, common crab and fiddly crab. Okay, so we're waiting on those crabs. There's the black groups. Goodness, so I can mark them a little easier on the map, but this must be it. Oh, no it's not. It's the lighthouse. You ponder at the intrinsic power of the structure. Really thinking that? Because I'm thinking where are those black fish. Here you are, right. Sustain my profit margins. Well, I gotta say so far, this is a really cozy game. And I like what they're doing here. Don't have a fishing minigame, have fishing. Center your game around it and make it good. Don't worry about the Eye of Sauron at the top. Lucky's Oberdin run was great. Every two hour stream spending the first hour trying to remember what the heck was going on just running around the ship aimlessly. <laughs> Lucky plays a terrifying amount of games. We're a little troubled. It's normal around here. Don't worry about it. Let's get some rest. Uh, yeah, I guess we will. Maybe for a little bit. Boy, Munger. He grins. <sighs> but he likes this kind of stuff, and it looks like he needs everything he can to liven up his day as well. Mm -hmm. Slices it open. Small piece of fabric. And he gives me 88 quid for it. Ooh, now we're talking. Now the first corrupted fish. I'll pay you well if you find more. Well, I just happened to find another one, so you can have it all, my friend. Wait, why do you have all these crab pots? Oh, I have to buy them from you. Mmm. Glorious seed money for the Oaka Empire. 
Oh, I should sell you these somewhat stale fish as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know what you took to the fishmonger. He extracted an artifact. Hmm. Head out this bay, cut south, and we have a business proposition. Do we know? Oh, we've got a compass here. Sweet. That'll make life easier. All right, head south. Maybe after we have a wee morning nap. Ah. Don't you baby me. What are we meant to do with this thing, anyway? It's a handkerchief. Can I shove it in my storage? Mm, I do not know. I do, however, think that I want to move you over here, but I don't want to spend two hours on it. Shallow Operational 10. That's the same simple skimmer I have. Coastal shallow, shallow, shallow. I was contemplating getting the weighted line. But I'm not sure if it changes the kind of fish that I can get. A lot of things I'm not sure about here. Rusty outboard engine. Won't get far with this. 14 knots, 10 knots. But if I have two engines, I'm going to move faster. Surely two engines is better than one. Blended. I still kind of want that hydro... Screw the person that said I don't need hydraulic rods. I want to move my basic fishing pole over to here. There or there? Probably there. I'm going to uninstall you. Can I put it in my storage? Uh, the storage is middle mouse button. There we go. And let's get that hydraulic rod. Let's get some actual bleeding fish. Now we're talking. Yeah, I'll keep you. Never know when I'm going to come crawling back to that after having made a poor decision. And whilst I greatly lack any storage space now, I can start playing with the big boys and surely I'll make some good money on that. There we go, middle mouse shoving that in storage. Excellent. Still want to be able to dredge some supplies. Why has that not been a thing that I can do? Rods, reels, and rigs will make maybe, maybe help me out. Uh, let's have a little bit of a kip. Ah, there we go. And now let's go and get some half decent fish from the oceanic regions. And we'll head south. I assume that. Yeah, that must be said. Let's go. No time to waste on you, small fries. Oh god, the crabs. God, does anything smell worse than rotting crab? Maybe, but nothing comes to mind. Where is it? Where are all the crab things that I dropped down? Was it you? i rather think it was you. A fresh, common crab. Well, if that's all you're going to do for me, I'm going to put you out in a deeper area. Hmm. Don't forget if your crab pot gets worn out, shipwreck can patch it. That's a big old fiddly crab. Maybe I need to dump the thing out further. Or maybe... Maybe I'm going to dump a bunch of these... Yeah, there we go. I've got to spend money to make money. I guess I will take this thing south with me. Spend money to make money. Let's go. Let's set one down at two meters. Set one down at three meters. One down at... Wow, we really are going faster here. Careful of those rocks. Four meters. 
And set one down at... Uh, I thought that was five meters, but it looks like it jumped out. Hey, some fish, come on. Come to me. I got my first shark! Hey, now we're doing the talking. I can put you there, nestle in the wee handkerchief here, and then wonder if I'll be able to get another shark. I think I can. I see the shape. Let's have it. Yeah! Probably wouldn't be able to fit another shark in here, unless I use my ginormous brain. Oh, but there's no more fish to be had here. What a damn shame. I know, I know. It's hardly fair that I can be blessed with such an immense lobe. Right. Talk to me, weird southern person. Ruin mansion, workshop, storage. Oh, so I do have storage here. Sweet. I'll sell these when I get back, and I will be getting back. Hmm. Nice steampunky look to him. A collector of many things, art and artifacts. Thought I was meant to sell. Oh, okay, you lost the magic. Look better in the shade. Unmistakable. The handkerchief is from an old ship that sank. Carries great importance. I will outfit your vessel with equipment and let you dredge the wrecks and dark. Oh yes, yes. I need to dredge things. <laughs> Reward me in ways beyond imagining. I would not trust someone offering that. Uh, need not give up your fishing career. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I don't see why not. Dredge Crane. Ring, necklace, watch, music box, and key. Hey, I'll consider it, but I'm having plenty of fun just doing my fishing stuff here. Uh, you said it's in my inventory, but... Let's start reading on sustainable fishing. Rods will really 10% more effectively. Nice. Oh, can I write to myself? Uh, oops. Notes. No, I thought I could leave myself little messages here. A nice thing that Steam has added, actually, is an overlay to write notes, and it does remain between sessions, which is great. What do we have in this workshop? Nothing. It's locked. Alright, where's that thing he said he added to my inventory? Ooh, didn't notice this. I can research... All sorts here. Very nice, but I got fishing to do. Or rather, I got fish to sell. So if I just double my way back, I should be able to catch maybe a few more fish, especially if I can spy any with my seeing glass. It seems to indicate that I can do the dredging now. So I think if we just go straight ahead in this direction, we'll be able to meet the dredge head on. I'll bring my varl. Hmm. Some other friendly ship out there, letting out their foghorn. Shapes in the deep. Alright, let's get dredging. What am I meant to do? Ah, oh, it's Frogger! Hey, we can do Frogger. Everyone's favorite minigame from Mass Effect. So we got that worn old ring. Hard to believe we dredged that in the darkness. Right, where was that um, crab pot I put down? I think it's over there. Might as well grab my crabs. Some of my sharks might be getting stale at this rate, but that's okay. Oh man, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. What is this? I paid huge amounts of money for these pots. The game assured me that there was plenty to be had. Bronze Whaler. Looks cool. You, 
you gave him barely any time. I gave him like 12 hours. I'm a fisherman, but I don't have much capacity for keeping my own catches nice and cold. Madness. These are fairly worthless fish. I'm probably losing value on my sharks by uh, endlessly and unsustainably grabbing these. So let's make our way back with our catch. We'll take the crabby route. Oh, maybe we'll find Kingler. Things stay fresh in the traps. Mm. I would love it if a game had a setup like this and just no horror. Well, you're in luck. There is a... Uh, Hmm, where is it now? Ah, yes, in passive mode, monsters won't target the player and scary random events will not spawn. So yeah, you can just have this game without the insidious undertones, probably. Run into a photographer? No. South? I just went south. Boy, fishmongy. All your, all your crab pots that I paid you a hundred quid for each just aren't doing it for me. Now, I guess I'll just sell you all these fish. I'm kind of surprised at the low amount of money I'm getting for these giant sharks. Storage for now. Oh yeah, they've gone stale. Maybe it's, maybe it's not too bad, but one shark doesn't pay for one crab pot, and those crab pots aren't getting me the dosh. What is it? Any shipwrecks going on? Mm. Back Greater Marrow, Car current carries, unnatural glow. Plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Do lighthouses really have keepers these days? I guess someone has to go and maintain them. I went around plenty of buildings in my water job, but mm. never a lighthouse. I see a lot from up here. Ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. Alright, Lighthouse Keeper, you've clearly got your own thing going on. I'll leave you to it. Alright, Builder. I don't want to talk to you. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. Why are we even staying here? If you find some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. I just pick you up. Two lumber, two scrap. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I owe you anything. So go away. Uh, yeah, we're all we're well overdue a, a bit of a snooze, and then maybe now my my crabby things have something for me. Are they bobbing and weaving with crabs? I feel so so ill done to. Well, there's one common crab. Uh, they're better grabbing on the way back, though, surely. But I'm looking for a specific crab, aren't I? Which I'm not seeing here. What about some oceanic catching? I've got my big oceanic thing, so why don't I... Why don't I go... Oh, that's still coastal. 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 How is that not oceanic? Maybe it's over at the coast of that. Well, the obvious thing to do is to ignore the dangers and just head on out there. But... Oh yeah, dredge. I need parts, don't I? Chugga, 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 chugga. I wonder if those crab pots break before I pick them up. I lose the catch. That'd be a lot of money to lose. All right, we froggered good. Messages in a bottle. Cliché, but a very nice thing to have in this kind of game. It's morning of the second day of the honeymoon, our first day proper. Sailing around the islands and inlets. Perhaps bleak inlets? Oh, 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 well. 
you want to read that, you can pause it and read that out. That's, that's a bit too much for me. Chewed through all that writing in uh, Rune Factory 5 in a foreign language, but that was too much for me. Well, there's a whole lot of not much out here. The spyglass. Oh, oh, I spy Oceanic. Hello, hello, friend. Perhaps I should let you know that I'm here. There we go. Oh, dear lord! That was no... F that was no ship. That was a nasty, nasty fish nibbling away at me. We are going to need a bigger boat. Am I going to be able to talk to someone about what I saw out there? Lord Woo Fak Fak! No one's going to get that, TVW! Although, hats off to them if they do. It was a right pain to take down. He had, the, he had all the boils, if I recall well. Ah, I can't do shallow fishing since I ditched my goods a bit. Alright, well, I'm going to have to go and repair the damage that Wu Fak Fak did to me. Ooh, hello. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around the sets of yellowed, crooked teeth. Flattened like human molars. That means they've been chomping on something. But what? Or who? Alright, let's grab my crabs and bring them back. I want some payment for all this misery. This has not been a productive day for us. Oh, boy. Panicking a bit much, are we? Was that rock always there? I don't recall deploying this pot right next to that. Hey, good. We got the fiddly crab that I was after. Can I just take the whole crab pot? What happens when the time runs out? Maybe it just gets destroyed. That would be a shame. And it would be a damn shame if they get destroyed before they've actually returned their value to me. These things cost a hundred each. Didn't I have five of them? Maybe I only had four. Yeah, because I mm, thought I had five. People are going to comment on us not having a good night of sleep yet again, I think. Ah, there we go. Can I just quickly pick you up and you're only one slot? There we go. Hopefully these fetch a high price. Right. This mayor really gets around. Are okay if sea fog shapes rest. I don't think that was him saying that. I think that was us hearing that. But I'm here to see the fishmonger first. Mm. Don't forget, if your crab pots get worn out, the shipwright should be able to patch them up. Ooh, so I don't need to. Don't need to completely rebuy new ones. Hopefully, oh god, that was not worth a lot of money. I just got some use out of the old pot. You can always buy more or repair them. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of the mutants? Probably nothing. <laughs> I already brought you one. Any 
aberrant will surface, I suspect they're all the same underneath. Well, I got you this snaggy squid. Hopefully it's worth something. Doesn't tell me what it's worth there, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Clutches it to his chest. Ah. Well, don't mind if I do. I think the fishmonger is losing it, but he still pays us, so it's hard to hard to hold it against him. Sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with the creature. All right. Well, I got all these crabs, which are worth bumpkiss. Five quid for a crab, but a hundred quid for a crab pot. Someone is having me on around here. My engine got trashed. And a block on my hull got trashed as well. Okay. Well, let that be a lesson to us. We're heading out there. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. 60 quid for the repairs. I'm not made of money, you know. All right. Well, lesson is being learned about heading out during the night time. But I still want to do some oceanic fishing. Um... But I still want those upgrades. I need to do some dredging. Rod spaces, net spaces. I wonder if that's independent of the cargo spaces. Modifies what? Oh, yeah, it just modifies the existing spaces. Well, damn, I need more cargo space. And I need it yesterday. Alright. Sod resting. We've got a busy day of oceanic fishing while the sun is up. Time to get some revenge. And again on the way back, I can check my old crabby crabs. Well, I can grab my crabs. Right, now that we're out here, where's some good oceanic fishing? That's coastal, apparently. It doesn't look like a coast to me. Blue mackerel are... Trash, as I recall. Are they? The Bronze Whaler. Dead ahead. Okay, come to me. Also, that book that we read, what did we get for it? 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Fish stocks? Ah, of course, of course, the, the sustainability here. Right, come to me. I forgot to ditch my lumber. Come to me. It's okay, I won't be punished for it, because we already depleted that. Couldn't I use my storage over here? Also, what was this school of fish? Did you sell the sharks that you dropped off? Oh, I'm probably going to find that those are nasty and stale as well. Oh, no, no, I didn't have any in my storage to begin with. I'll drop you off for now, though this magical Resident Evil style storage and that lets me drop you off too and then we head back grab what we can and sleep we haven't slept in days I think this would be an interesting game to speedrun not that I'm interested in it but I'd be interested in the uh, the act of doing so hello three headed cod Ooh, and we're finding all the aberrations here Three heads writhe and struggle in unison. They hang a gate. They close and shut together. Three lives as one. One fate bound to many. Oh, it's just a fish. crabs and maybe even the crab pots and back we go. I want to see how expensive it is to repair the busted crab pots. 
Hang on, did I grab the crab when I did that? I did. Oh, good. Funny that that automatically puts it in the inventory. I couldn't find a way to automatically move you over here. There's pick up and discard, but... Mm. Oh, there's still a day left on you. Just the old nasty one that he gave us first off that's causing problems, but wow, these things were not worth the hundred quid I put into them each. Scary stuff. Maybe the more tired you are, the freakier the fish get. Or maybe the freakier the fish, the more tired and banged up we get. Alright, fishmong. Wait, what? I need to sell my stuff? Mayor, he needs to open up. Little Marrow, an unfortunate end. He went mad. Tales of the old mayor is used to scare children. Okay, well, good for him. Shipwrecks, quite a few. Lighthouse helps, but struggles to cut through the fog. It's a little harder to get to. There are wrecks. Ooh, right, so around the back of the island. Very well, I need some dredging. But no great deal. Falls under the jurisdiction. Sold to a private owner 20 years ago. All on good mayor. But I've got stuff to sell, fishmonger. Open up! This is a problem. Too many painful memories here. I don't want to be living them anymore. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why we're so interested in this old mayor fellow. I try not to think about him, it's a painful memory for us all. Oh, Home of the engines, but he's gone. Well, too bad for him. Okay, this is a bit naff. I need to sell my fish, but the fishmonger's having none of this. My, my catch is gonna go all nasty. It's good and fresh now, but it won't stay fresh forever. Oh, I've got a fair few sharks, and I'd like to eat them. Take a look through this book. Oh, thank you. Free book. How about we fix that? Oh, yeah, what about the light? Makes a decent effort at shining through the gloom. Better than a candle, but only just... I don't know, it takes up valuable cargo space. The cargo space is so tiny, it kind of feels extremely limiting. Hmm. Where do I do the repairs again? Is that the dry dock? Oh, it's just you again. No, I've forgotten how to repair these things. Hmm. There's my repair all. But how do I repair the crab pot? The fishmonger repairs. The fishmonger doesn't do bugger all because he's just barred inside. What the hell do I do here? I got stuff to sell, man. It's all gonna go naff. Put it on the boat first. What, the uh, the basic crab potty thing? Once it's installed, no refunds. What are you, the Slay the Spire merchant? Ah, okay, now I can repair it. Aha. Uh -huh. Only 15 quid to repair, but do you even get me that money back? Oh well, there we go. Maybe he's closed on Sundays. That's not very good.
Catch one, five dollar crab, repair for fifteen dollar yes. It's like I've bought an electric razor, but they're charging me for all the new heads and things. Or uh, better yet, printer, and they're charging me for the ink cartridges. Right? This is this is an on fishmonger, come on. Um, closed on Sundays doesn't sound too unreasonable, but I didn't mention that anywhere. Oh, I have a map. Ooh. Convenient. Does the almanac say anything about how to catch crabs when you drop the pods? That might be handy to look at, given that we're not very good at crab fishing. Uh, it shows the depth of them. This fiddler crab seems considerably better, found in the marrows here. Be nice to find some aberrations of you. Beyond that, though, we know not. But the Gale Cliffs, they have other kinds of crabs. Might be an idea to head over there and deploy. Although that's a fair distance to head. We're not so great at going great distances right now. Uh, right, Fishmonger, you are having my tatty on here. I don't know if things are kept fresher in my ship or in my storage. Why don't we check that? All these crabs are relatively the same, so let's see if these go stale before you. And similarly, let's see if these go stale before you. Alright, I guess I'll rest. I don't really want to. I want to sell my damn fish, fishmonger! What the hell is this? All right, it's it's Monday. Open up. What, what the hell, game? Um, I'm a little cheesed off at this. I got this amazing catch, and I can't even sell it. And no one wants to talk to me about it. do I do? Do I just wait? Wait for him to open? Everything's gonna... Everything's gonna spoil. Oh, there we go! Oh, for the love of God! Right, you, you better... Yeah, he's, he's barely paying me anything for my rotten fish. Okay, game, that was a bit naff. Not, not impressed with that. Oh yeah, I'm open all hours. Okay, great. Oh, except I'm not open now when you've got all your good fish, so let them rot. Not best pleased with you, fishmonger. Right, even so, it's a fresh new day. I need to get some fresh new catches, but I want to go and do some of the dredging around the back of the aisle. So I will do exactly that. The man has needs. No, he doesn't. He's a fishmonger. I'll just leave that crab pot there. It's slightly automated money. So they said around the back of here has got the dredge stuff. Let's put that to the test. Disturbed water. Ah, but I don't have shallow equipment here. Hmm. The insanely limited cargo space is quite bothersome. Kind of taking away from the cozy element of this. Hey, I think I saw you in The Simpsons. Dotted eyeballs, superfluous, scanning frantically. And they see right through me. Maybe you get a bigger ship later. So, uh, there are upgrades to this, but the upgrades seem minimal. Um, and I'm having a very hard time finding any materials to get anywhere with the upgrades as well. 
yoink. One of them said it'll give me four hull spaces. Oh, whoop de doo that's two blue mackerels. The lowest tier uh, fish in the game. At least from what I can tell so far. Right, we depleted you, but I'm here for the wrecks. Are you a wreck? An old husk. Hello, hello, hello. We're making the big money today. Alright, well there's clearly going to be more out here, right? Clearly. But let's head back to what we have now. That's shallow water. We don't have shallow equipment. <laughs> gold plate. Every time I hear gold plated, I think of uh, that Pokemon bit. Was it James from Team Rocket buys the magic art? And he says, but it came in a golden Pokeball. And Meowth scratches and yells, it's only gold plated. God knows how many years ago that was, but these things just lodge into your brain. Right, fishmonger. Not all schools are the same abnormals. Yes, we've been over this two times, in fact, and about to be three. Buy this off of me. I'll buy everything off of me. There we go. I got nothing in storage. I can't sell these, but I will shove that over to my storage. Blonk, blonk. Old chain. Uh, was that what the old coot was after? No, not at all. But the other guy, he, he would buy relics, I believe. Research part, old ring. Perhaps I should go to them. Where were they? I think it was on the other island, right? Yes. Yeah. Rusty engines, but I have no damage. I don't want that cloudy lens. And I guess I'll deploy the crab pot when I head on over to the other side, which I'll do this evening. Yeah, so... Okay. Oh, oh the new hull actually has five whole cargo spaces, and there's another four here. But it requires a lot of stuff that I still don't have. There's a lot of dredging I evidently need to do. Even so, let's go and sell our valuables on the other side. One thing that I somewhat appreciate is that there doesn't seem to be a lot of time pressure going on here. Alright, let's just dunk you unceremoniously in the center here. Although it does say day 8, so that is incrementing. Maybe there is time pressure and I'm unaware of it. Well, I'm not selling here anyway, let's just get on over, dunk our relics, and rest up. Find anything special? Maybe. Who's asking? 25 quid for a ring. 15 quid for a crappy ring. 7 quid for an old chain. You won't buy the other stuff. I forget what the uh, the builder was looking for to get out of here. Uh, what was it now? Two scrap, two lumber. Well, I haven't found any scrap, but I certainly got lumber. I do, however, have research parts. I did research work again. Also, what was the painter? If you're wanting to experiment with decorations and the person to talk to, why would I be doing that? Flags and bunting. Splash of color, my pigments are limited. Okay. Not really sure I'm here to tart up my on loan boat. Well, no, I paid off the loan on this boat, but still a crummy wee trawler. <sighs> Bring me strange crabs. Why in the world would I want to paint my boat? Is this one of your pimp your ride operations? Because I'm uh, very not interested in that. Oh boy, <laughs> we could get Brazilian boat going. Alright, alright. I've completely forgotten how to do research though. Uh... Maybe it was back at the other place. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's have a snooze. 
At dawn, we go back, we do our fishing, grab our crabs. Oh, there's research. Hmm. I have three, three itty bitty bits here. Ah, that's quite nice. A flexible fishing pole that can actually do multiple kinds of fishing. That's good. I absolutely want that. We research it, but we still have to buy it, go figure. Mangrove and coastal. Well, no, it's mostly coastal and shallow here. When I find mangroves, I'll consider that. Can I research this? No, for some reason I cannot. Doesn't seem to have prerequisites, but evidently it does. Alright, we'll hold on to our pit for now. And then head out. Wait, someone wanted to talk to me again. Grieving father. <laughs> You're clearly grieving. Don't know what it could have possibly been, but tell me about the shipwrecks. My only son was lost at sea. Boohoo. Still out there somewhere in those wrecks. Retrieve any of his belongings. <laughs> if I just dump his corpse on you and shit, that'll be 150 quid. Bronze belt buckle. Uh -huh. I do like the way you phrase being in my debt, though. Screaming, throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry. Yeah, you're right. I really better go. I think I'll do a once-around loop on this place. Hello? What's all those colours floating out? Well, I don't know, because I don't have the equipment for it, but one would think that that is a sign of something mysterious there. Well, can't be everywhere all the time. Probably not much point ca catching those crappy little fish. I'm here to find some flotsam. This game's pretty gorgeous. Look at that water. I wonder what that guy who looks at all the games and comments on how nice the water is would say about this. It's not realistic, it's not high fidelity, but it's got a nuanced style to it. I really appreciate that. Good looking game. Disturbed water, but I'm not seeing any wrecks. Hello, are you a wreck? Oh, nice sound. Some coastal cards. Ah, dredge. Now that's what I'm talking about. Also something here. Two things here. Alright, let's get froggering. Whoa, baby. The Mass Effect hacking minigame that I didn't play trained me for this. And we found the bronze belt buckle. And also, what are you? I think turning passes time, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it does. Right. Shapes in the deep come to me. Elden Massacre, this game. Finally, some metal scraps. However, I need more. Any more for any more? That's why I'm glad I wasn't catching fish today. God, there's even more. Alright, have at. And the whole thing fades away. I assume that you can't just... Well, I'm going to assume that Dredge does not keep coming back. Okay. Probably wasn't worth the time at the 15... Or was it 7.5 quid you get for that iron chain? Old cloth. Give me more of that. I'll get this thing upgraded yet.
Well, I was wanting all the dredge, and now I'm finding all the dredge here. Fun little Easter egg about the dredge in Banner Saga, by the way. If you look closely at the backgrounds during the big fights of the dredge, you'll notice that they actually do have dredge children with them. A very early indicator that the dredge are not on the warpath in Banner Saga. Whoa! Good thing I'm a great fisherman here. What's this? I'm a message in a bottle. Alright, alright. Back we go to the relative safety of Hello Dredge. I wonder if you can be attacked while you're dredging. Or otherwise fishing. This could be a problem if there is any more any more lumber to be had here, I might struggle to pick it up. Me? Struggle? The problem is over here. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Although now I can't get my crabs on the way back. So, I'm going to dump the stuff here. And then we're going to grab the crabs on the way back. Never mind the multi eyes of Sauron eyeing us up. Mm, there's my storage. Just can I just dunk it all or. There we go, middle mouse button. Save my day. And wasn't it over here that we have the trader? Yes, indeed. Will you buy my chain and... Oh, I could sell you the bronze belt buckle! <laughs> How much do we care about the grieving father? That's 10% of all my money right there. Chat, what do we do? This is an ethical quandary. Give some closure to a man that lost his son. Or pocket ourselves with one and a half Franklins. Zingus insists that we honour the contract. <laughs> Cash is king. Depends on what you think the Grieving Father might reward you with. He did say he would be in our debt. But what if we sell it and then we can say, him, say to him, Well, you know, I, I sold it. If you want your belt buckle, go and buy it from the trader. And he probably marks it up to 800. This trader knows. There's no way on an island this small they don't know about this grieving father moaning on about the the bronze belt buckle. All right, chat. I'm I'm holding this against you if grieving father does not grieve to the tune of at least eighty dollar dues, real dollars, not Aussie dollars or Canadian dollars. Please bring it to me. Anything else? Wait, what? How weird. So we have to go to our storage, pick it up out of our storage, and then bring it back to you. Can I say I sold it? I really want to sell it. Damn you, chat, forcing me to do these horribly unethical things. Alright. I'll have you know the trader offered me a hundred quid for this, so you better offer me a, a lot more. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I've not any money. Chat, we're going to be having some words. I have plenty of research. i got nothing worth researching. But I can always put money to use. I haven't any money. Maybe open with that next time. Ugh, okay, we're so mad we're gonna fall asleep until we're no longer mad. Alright, there we go. Let's... Let's get fishing. In particular, let's get our crabs back. You're now spiritually rich. Well, that doesn't pay the bills. Spiritually rich. Mm, yeah, yeah, well, we're going, ahead. we're going back anyway. Let's grab some fish on the way.
Right, so much for sustainable fishing. We are just raking the ocean clean here. Hey! Oh! Gold plated grotesque mackerel. Trophy style. Tell me more, tell me more. Also, what's this message that we got? We had a slight accident at the shallows. A rock appeared out of nowhere. Oh, it sucks to be you. And here we go. Corrupted scales, bulbous eyes. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Maybe we are near Infra. All those spicy mushrooms leaking into the water. Ooh, I hate to think it. But could it be that every game is just Infra? Right, you're coming with me. Oh, the, the, the crab pot as well. Come on. Grab every crab pot, repair them up. For more money than they got us. Man, these crab pots are such a waste of money. Uh, not enough space, you say. I am inclined to disagree. However, now I'm inclined to agree that there's no space for any more of my pots. Or anything else for that matter, but fortunately we're right next to home, so... Let's hope that the, f the uh, fishmonger is actually open, we'll buy our stuff, and we can all get on with our lives. Right, fishmong. It's all good, fresh stuff. And just sell it all, right? Boomf. Oh, but maybe he had an order that I need to fulfill. I haven't been paying attention to his orders. He's not mentioning any orders, though. Don't overcommit, especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than not come back at all. You got a lot of flies buzzing around the fish. Flies don't usually buzz around fresh stuff like that. Okay, okay. You know how it is. I don't, actually. I'll tell you what I do know, though. You've got that flexible fishing pole for 460. And it's considerably faster than my basic pole, so... So, so, so. Goodbye, my coastal-only pole. Hello, coastal shallow pole for vast sums of money. Wait, what? Okay, tell me I didn't lose money on that. I don't think I did. Ah, okay. So I think you can pick these things up and then instantly refund them for full value. Okay, thank god. I thought I thought I goofed and then bought this for full value and uh, gave it back for reduced. Anyway, anyway, I want to repair some of this stuff. How do we do that again? Is it just the repair all button? There we go, go. Oh, I can help Jub Jub move now, can't I? Hello, Builder. And I swear, this better be an actual reward. You people don't know the first thing about compensation. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap, uh, to steel point. Ah, right, we need to go north then. Is that steel point? Probably. Question is, is there storage there, or do I need it already in my ship? I don't know, but... Two, and... Two, and... Huh. It's okay, it's probably easily solved. Mm, yes. Oh lordy, it's late in, in the car park all over again. Two, and two, and two, and head north. And while we're here, is there anything I wanted to research? Ooh, how about the Omega fishing thing? I'd need to do you and you and then get you, but boy do you do everything. Kind of negating the use of my flexible fishing pole for a while, though. I want to get some use out of you, actually. 
What can I... can I get for that? Better crab pots? But I just bought all these crab pots. Hold on to my research for now. Top man Jake bringing cloth along just to sweeten the deal. Pure gratis. What? Was a mistake made? Ah. Two lumber, two scrap. Oh! Ah. Don't know why. where I read that she also needs the, uh, the cloth. It was probably the other two in that sentence if I had to guess. Just making life harder for myself here for no good reason. What else did I want this lumber for again though? How do I use it for? Lumber, scrap, shipwright. Is this your doing? No, it's dry dock of course. That's where we do the upgrades. Ooh, goodbye all of my scrap. Well, hopefully the builder is going to be so enamored with us for doing it that she'll offer us all sorts of rewards. And let's head north before the sun goes down, the tide goes out. Up there, huh? It's okay, we can grab fish on the way back. No need to be that greedy, right? Plus dredge is surely more important. Ooh, but I want that shark. Look at that delicious shark. Oh, right. Uh, I don't have space for a shark. But maybe I do if I just do a bit of jiggery pokery. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces, and I only need six on you. I should have deployed the crab pots to make my life easier. Oh, ain't no way I'm fitting you in here. Mistakes were made. Hi there, I'm new, says Zedota2. Do you stream all new AAA games? What is your main genre? I stream damn near everything. But I, actually, if there's anything I don't have a focus on, it's new AAA games. How many different games have I streamed by now? Easily several hundred by now. I wonder if I can ever reach a thousand. Alright, so this is Steel Point. Let's dump these materials unceremoniously for that lassie to enjoy. Thump, 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 and thump. Yeah, we shouldn't let her know, but while we're here, couldn't hurt to check for some dredge. It's the main thing I'm after currently. I want to upgrade this ship like nobody's business. Playing the Frogger minigame once again. Oh, I could have just gotten the dredge while I was here. To make another Simpsons reference, that's like Homer trying to kill himself, drags the rock all the way to the bridge, and then finds that the bridge has an identical giant rock next to it. Gosh, it got dark when we were dredging. Well, I'd rather see what I'm looking for, so let's just take a nice wee nap while we're here. Right. Sleepy time. On that, do you think modern games are bad? No, no, far from it. Now, gaming is probably better than it ever was right now. I just don't necessarily have a lot of interest in modern AAA titles. Shapes in deep, let's look at some cloth. 